Hey guys, what's up? Strong4 here. Now, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to play Bad Rider version 5 in the lane, which is a very hard matchup. Now, Tide and Ven are very hard matchup for Bad Rider as they slow the Bad Rider, but there is a way to play around in this lane. You can see I have a Ursa in the lane and I tip it to the top lane because I was not sure if I was pushing 4 or 5. So, as soon as I tip it, the first thing I do is sentry in the lane and I see the Tide Hunter is there in the lane, but I don't see support in the lane. So I assume that Tide Hunter is alone in the lane. You can see Ursa is also going to on him. So because of this, we both try to go on him and because I'm support, I can actually do this. I can just go on him without Ursa. So I don't need the Ursa here and Ursa is busy last hitting and I'm free to go on the Tide Hunter because Tide Hunter is the main hero to last hit the clips here. And this often happens with the offlaners. So I go in the Tide Hunter. He uses the gas to fight me back, but it's not enough. So I just zone him out with the flames. So with that, my Ursa is actually getting free game. If you see, my Ursa has just denied the full wave. He's about to deny this also. And he gets a free game here. Now, this is a Ursa versus Tide matchup. Of course, Ursa counters Tide after a certain period of time. But in the early game and in the early levels, there is a way to play around for the Tide. But I'm trying to zone this Tide out. And because Venomancer is also not there in the lane. And as soon as I see the Venomancer, I just go back here and I respect the Venomancer here. Now, I don't have the Firefly for the next 25 seconds. So my job right now is to play safe and play next to the tower. Also, I get a Magic Stick in this lane because Tide and then Venomancer, a lot of Magic Stick charges will be there. Especially Tide. Venom may be little. So I'm just playing it safe right now. I'm playing it next to the tower. Playing in the tower tag range. Venom is the kill. But Dust is on him. Now, we could have gone on him here, but... Sadly, I don't have the Firefly and I don't know about Ursa. Ursa maybe could have gone on him, but he decides to farm because he is playing carry, so he wants to farm more clips. So, with the Gale use, I realize like he has nothing to slow me and I go to auto attack him. Keep in mind that he used the Gale, so once he used the Gale, he has nothing to control me for the next 20 seconds, so I'm free to do these things. And I see that the Thailand is coming at me and I think the Venom was also coming. But I think I should have just ran away here instead of just waiting here. This was a part of my mistake here. And I go to right limb again and I take the Gale here. But because I was so far away, they are not able to do much. I'm already under the tower attack range if you can see. So that Gale doesn't do much. So they are not able to completely utilize the Gale. And because I'm playing Bad Rider also, Bad Rider has a lot of HP. Trying to go on Bad Rider is like the worst when he's full HP because he has a lot of HP and it's very hard to kill him. And the Gale use, Ursa sees that there's no Gale so he tries to kill the Venomancer. But he doesn't have the follow up enough, like I'm not level 2. So with that the Venomancer is very low so and I just try to zone the Tide Hunter here. I try to right kill him again and again. And I see that the Venom plays the ward and I instantly rush towards him. Veno also noticed that and Veno tries to run away from me because he doesn't want to feed the gold to me. He knows that I can kill him. So with that I get a sentry ward. And I see that the Venomancer is isolated and my flame break is gonna come. I think I can kill him at this point. So I try to chase him. I get some right click and I use the flame break. And with the blood grenade I kinda zone him out. He has lost a lot of movement speed and he also tries to commit I think on me. Because I think he agrees that he's gonna die so he's trying to do a much damage as possible and I get a kill here so that's a solo kill for me so I'm very happy and at the same time my Ursa is also very happy if you see the last hits Ursa has 14 last hits compared to Tide Hunter 4 now this is all because I am able to zone this Tide Hunter properly because I know like where the enemy support is 3 minutes mark is approaching so I will get the Lotus for free here because there's no contest on the Tide Hunter when it tries to gale me here but it fails in the immortal bracket we try to capitalize on enemy not having a spell because when enemy doesn't have a spell he's considered as a creep that is the basic rule of immortal players now he doesn't have the gale left my ursa just goes ham in and he decides to go on Venom first but then he decides to change his target to this tide hunt and i use the fire plan try to stay on top of him and i try to beat the venomance a little bit more because i am very low hp but i have lotus and magic stick so I try to gamble here to kill the Venomancer here. But Venomancer respects that and he leaves this. Yeah, and one more thing is that this creep was following me. So I try to leave the flag barrier creep on the range creep. Okay, this is very important because if I get this one of this range creep denied here, the lane doesn't get that much push. I tried that, but it doesn't deny the creep to half HP. The other creeps also hit him and he just dies. And here I'm pulling the lane here. Because I used a firefly earlier, 
the lane gets slightly pushed like the creeps get more damage from the radiant so the lane slightly gets pushed now you need boots and wind lanes on this hero these are like the main items on this hero as a support uh, without this you can't really do much in the lane because the enemy will eventually buy a boots very fast because they know they have to buy the boots versus playing a bad rider so you have to buy the boots as well as wind lanes in order to outrun them so that was it for this video guys so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video take care thanks for watching bye